totally denies it. He says it didn't happen. He thinks that the people of Alabama should make the decision. So get out and vote for Roy Moore. President Trump has become a vocal cheerleader for a candidate accused of sexual misconduct with teenagers. At first, Trump had remained largely silent. Your thoughts on Roy Moore, Mr. President? Do you believe his accusers? But as the election neared, he appealed to Alabama voters in a robocall supporting Roy Moore for Senate. I'm going to make America safer and stronger and better than ever before. But we need that seat. We need Roy voting for us. Moore is accused of making unwanted sexual advances toward teenagers when he was in his 30s. At least one woman has accused him of assault. Mr. Moore reached over and began groping me. He removed my clothing. He just grabbed my behind. Prominent Republicans are breaking from the president to call out Moore. I didn't vote for Roy Moore, but I wrote in a distinguished Republican name. These allegations are credible. I don't know what winning looks like with Roy Moore. The president has also been accused of sexual misconduct, allegations that first surfaced during his presidential campaign. His hands were all over me. Some of Trump's accusers spoke out again on Monday. It doesn't matter when it happened, whether they were eight years old or whether they were 35 or whether they were older. President Trump has denied the allegations, but one member of his cabinet thinks the women shouldn't be dismissed. Women who accuse anyone should be heard. They should be heard and they should be dealt with. And I think we heard from them prior to the election. And I think any woman who has felt violated or felt mistreated in any way, they have every right to speak up. For now, the person the president is speaking up for is Roy Moore.